is the referee. It's the first time he's taken charge of a Merseyside derby. He blows the whistle. It's the visitors from across the park, Everton, who get the derby match underway. The Liverpool team have just run through it for the benefit of those who've joined us. Two changes for Liverpool, Jota and Keita coming in for Diaz and Henderson, who are on the bench. And the Everton team, Pickford in goal, Coleman, Holgate, Michael Keane and Vitaly Mikolenko. Michael Keane just coming in, what, 25 minutes or so ago, maybe less than that, after an injury to Ben Godfrey in the warm-up. Ducure, Allen and Iwobi in midfield, then Gordon, Gray and Richarlison. Andy Robertson's coming across, Stuart Atwell is, is nodding his head, he blows his whistle and signals that Pickford should get on with it. He, he, is, he is getting close to a yellow card for time-wasting, for, for how long it's taking him to, to take the goal kicks. I don't think he will, John. I think Stuart Atwell is quite happy with what he's doing. He's not rushed him at any point to really get on with it. Uh, he's not had a word with him to go up to him and say, listen, no more of this. I think... Uh, I actually think they're doing it quite well, Everton. What they're trying to do, I think they're going about it really well. Still nil-nil. Five live Premier League Sunday, BBC Sounds and the World Service. You can listen to the live radio via BBC Sounds as well and, and rewind the live radio. You can listen to our commentaries back later if you wish. Here's Thiago. Thiago up towards the edge of the penalty area and Richarlison's gone down. And, uh, and referee Atwell is coming across. He's, he's not going to stop play this time. That's one too many, I think, from Richarlison. And now Matip. Matip to Salah. Edge of the area. Jota. Allen puts in the challenge. It's not a head injury, John, so he doesn't have to blow up. Rich Richarlison's down. He's it's pathetic. Frank Lampard and Jurgen Klopp are at each other now. And, and now Jurgen Klopp has crowd. left his coaching area and he's walked across. He's walked across to meet Frank Lampard and the two of them have exchanged words there. The managers of Liverpool and Everton, Richarlison's still down. And Here we then, go. Oh, Here we now, go. And now we've got trouble. There's a yellow card for Ducouré, who put a challenge in on Fabinho. And now all of the players are getting involved. All but four of the five of the outfield players are involved in a, in a stramash in the centre of the field, which, you know, that comes that all comes from Richarlison going down when I'm not sure there's anyone here who thinks there's anything wrong with Richarlison. So a yellow card for Ducouré, and uh, and I think it has calmed down now. Um, I don't think it has. I don't think it has, John. Gordon and Andrew Robertson are each other. Sadio Mane and Mason Holgate have just gone face to face, and they're having having a, a set to as well. Holgate's not happy with the reaction of Sadio Mane. He feels that he's. I don't know whether he's brushed his head into him or something, but okay. Yeah, uh, Richarlison is now. Richarlison's now having his right calf rubbed by the uh, by the physio who's on the field. The Liverpool supporters are singing, going down, going down. And, they, and we still have milling around, general milling around in the middle of the field. I think Ducure was shown a yellow card, I think, for that challenge on Fabinho. He was. Or in fact, he, he had, first of all, he fouled him, and then he actually tripped him when the ball had gone that was a definite yellow card and there's also a yellow card I think for Sadio Mane so the referee has seen it as you saw it Stephen that Sadio Mane got involved in that so a yellow card for Sadio Mane and now Richarlison just getting to his feet and he's he's limping oh look at that oh oh I can feel that myself it'll be like Lazarus in a couple of minutes you think I've never seen gamesmanship like it from someone. Richarlison rolls round, and I'm, I'm not just saying it from a Liverpool point of view in the game. He does it game after game, and he's so frustrating to watch. Because he's a gifted footballer, and I think, why are you wasting your time rolling round on the floor so much? Yeah, it's part of the plan for Everton. So, uh, second half is underway here at Anfield, under blue skies. Liverpool nil, Everton nil. Liverpool attacking towards the cop end, which is down to our right. No changes. Allison in goal. Alexander Arnold, Matip, Van Dijk, and Robertson. Liverpool coming forward with Matip. Ball into the penalty area low. Salah on the edge of the D, skipping away towards the halfway line. Gives it back to Van Dijk. Van Dijk now square to Matip, and then uh, to the right hand side to Alexander Arnold, who will go back centrally again. So the rest of the Liverpool team: Fabinho, Keita, and Thiago. Salah, Jota and Mane 
And Anthony Gordon with it right away down below us now on the left-hand side. Back to Awobi. Mikalenko clears the ball aerially. Alexander Arnold underneath that. Shoved from Jota. Bounces down. Thiago. There is a little bit of quality in the midst of all the mayhem from Thiago. Takes it down. One touch pass outside of his boot out to the left-hand side. Comes back centrally. Thiago. And uh, shields it from Richarlison. Now it's with Matip to the right-hand side to Salah. Salah flicks it into the box. Origi, Origi back to Salah. Across the area, back post header! It's there! Robertson was there! They had it down and in, and he skips away! And this is the sound of Anfield when the breakthrough has come against Everton in the derby match. Crucial for Liverpool. Crucial to get the early goal. They didn't get it, but... In the last half hour, Liverpool are through and Everton are finally broken by their neighbours. Liverpool won, Everton nil. A big role that Dick Okarigi plays in the goal. Onto the pitch, can you have an impact in the game? Little one-two with Mohamed Salah, and that's a delicious ball to the back post by Salah. He knows he can't shoot, he knows he can't get a strike on goal. Dinks it to the back post, it evades Jota, but Andrew Robertson arriving on time, nods it back across goal, and Pickford dives the wrong way, and Liverpool break the deadlock. Anfield sings the name of the man who opens the scoring in the 240th Merseyside derby. Unlikely, perhaps, but Liverpool chasing for the title will take it from whatever source it comes. Uh, what's Everton's game plan now? What do they do? Do they stick at this for a while and hope that Andrew, uh, Anthony Gordon can produce that quality on the break? Richarlison can up his game a little bit. Or do they come out of their shape now and Liverpool will pick them apart? And Andy Robertson's name has changed into a chorus of going down, going down. And Everton, with this scoreline, will certainly stay in the bottom three going into the next round of matches. Remember, here he is on the ball, the Liverpool captain, chipping the ball over the top down the right. Salah might have been offside. Into the penalty area he goes, though. Onto his left foot, plays it across. Thiago is there, deflected! Oh, good save, Pickford. Diving to his right with the deflection, had to adjust and pushed it away wide. And there is no offside flag. No, I think he, I think he timed his run perfectly well, Mohamed Salah. Just set off at the right time, lovely dink over the top from Jordan Henderson, and then he picks the right pass, but for a good block and an outstanding save from Jordan Pickford. And a Thiago shot, it could have been 2-0. I thought you were going to come up with a new word there. I thought you were going to refer to it as a dinko. <laughs> it, it, it was just a dink. You can have that, John. Yeah, OK. Well, it is a corner that is taken by Robertson. No one gets a touch. It bounces out to Henderson. Henderson then turns and via the angle, chips it into the back post. Volley across. Origi heads it in. 2 0 Liverpool. And that's the derby done. Liverpool have got the three points. Just five minutes on the clock. Luis Diaz tried a spectacular at the back post. It didn't come off, but it bounced down and up invitingly for Divock Origi to get another, to add to his collection of special Liverpool goals. And it's 2-0 now to Liverpool against Everton. What a pick out from Jordan Henderson as the ball comes to him on the edge of the box. You think he'd just whip it in, but he doesn't. He stands it up to the back post, and Diaz, like you say, John, goes for the outrageous. He goes for the overhead kick, puts it into the floor, and Origi wasn't missing from there. What a record he's got against Everton, and what a record he's got of getting big goals at important times, and that should be game over. Yes, you can add that to the list. And it's certainly not his first one against Everton in the derby matches. as Liverpool defending on the edge of their own penalty area, but I think there's breathing space now. Yeah, the Everton fans are starting to leave, John. They've seen enough. They're heading for the exits and they've got this noise ringing in their ears. The message could not be clearer. 
Divock Origi has just scored his sixth goal against Everton in nine appearances. What a record that is against the neighbours. Couldn't miss that one, bounced up for him beautifully. Here is Richarlison, shoots from the angle, but it's saved comfortably by Allison. <laughs> and Allison caught it easily and then went down in instalments. He dropped slowly to his knees and then dropped slowly down onto his front. And he's mimicking what Jordan Pickford did earlier in the game. And now it's Allison's name that has been sung by the Liverpool supporters. And, uh, well, that's a little bit of Brazilian humour that has gone down very well in the red half of Merseyside. Oh, superb, wasn't it? Very, very clever for Allison. Liverpool leading by two goals to nil. And Salah now breaks downfield. And there is, there is space on the left-hand side, and Salah can find Robertson. And Robertson now into the penalty area. Not a second goal for the Liverpool left-back. No, the challenge comes in. But no matter. There's the final whistle. And Liverpool have beaten Everton by two goals to nil. Two goals in the last half hour of a match in which Everton made it incredibly difficult and frustrating for their City rivals. But Liverpool came up with the goals and have won the points. And Liverpool closed back to within one point of the leaders, Manchester City. And Everton are left still in the relegation zone. For Everton, a first relegation for Everton since 1951 has come another step closer here today. For Liverpool, the title race, the title battle against Manchester City goes on to next weekend. Final score here at Anfield as the sun shines on. Liverpool 2, Everton 0.